Hey, welcome to the Pavilion Church. Good We're glad morning. you're here. Hi, everybody. Okay, we got to do our shout outs real yep. quick. I got them up here. Hey, Steph, how's the baby? Hope everything's well. Not a baby anymore. Lost. All grown up. Yes, Beth Christie. Christy! Christina Williams. That's my sister in law, everyone. Donna, she's my other sister. Mm -hmm. Patty, hey Patty, Trin, Elsa, Michaela, Zell, Kara. Why Kara. are they? Why are they all girls? Jesse. There we go. There we go. Pastor, Pastor Jesse. Jesse. Hey girl, Angie. Cricket. So good to. Come on, men. Get up there. <laughs> Get on up there. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Okay, Mark. Okay, all right. thank you, Mark. All right, We're Mark. Going here. <laughs> Is Daniel with you? We need some more guys. Cindy. Love you guys. Happy yes, anniversary, Mark yes. and Cindy, by the way. Yes, happy anniversary. And happy birthday, Elsa. Mm -hmm. Elsa Nine. Mm -hmm. Mark, the other Mark, Mark Stoltz. Great yeah. to see you guys. Yes. On our phones. <laughs> so we are so blessed to, to be able to do these live. Um, every week we keep trying to change something and improve, and you probably see a lot of improvements today on what we're doing with the technology from last week. Um, but we've got a better live stream. We've got better cameras working today. So we're excited about a new start as well for yeah. something longer and greater. We're, we're, we're anticipating that things definitely change. And we're not looking to go forward or go back to the, to the past. To but the old, really move forward. Going so, forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a real excitement in the air, and I believe, in the body of Christ yes, overall. Yes, absolutely. You know? Uh, the Lord showed it to me this way. He said, there's a wave. This mm -hmm. is a big wave. And yeah. the key is get on the wave. Otherwise, you're going to go underneath and you're going to yeah. be in the underbelly of the water. Yeah. So as Christians, yeah. we need to be opening our eyes and seeing that there's a wave right, right here. And we just need to get mm -hmm. on it and ride mm -hmm. it on in. We don't know what it's fully going to look like in our next yeah. season. But we do know mm -hmm. that God is in control, that we can trust his purpose and his plan for us and just get right. on that wave and yeah, ride it. I agree. It's exciting. Too many times we go into life thinking, well, we just don't want to cause waves in, in our job or waves in, yeah. in, in life or our schools. But I'm telling you, man, you can't do any surfing if you don't have any waves. So come on, make some waves. <laughs> I'm telling you. Come on now. That's just me. Hey, I so. just want to make a quick announcement about our Outreach Base Nashville also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we've just been doing some great works every week. It's been, it's just been so fulfilling to mm -hmm. watch and mm -hmm. see um, how we're helping our community. These yeah. last uh, couple weeks, we've mm -hmm. taken on two more clients, I guess you could say. <laughs> 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 what are they called? <laughs> Partners. Partners, thank you very serve. much, right. partners. But we're going to the fairgrounds. I think some of you know about mm -hmm. that. We've been going to the fairgrounds and partnering with mm -hmm. them. I Helping don't know them. who they're. Yeah, there. so the fairgrounds have opened up to the homeless and, and really trying to get the homeless off the streets, give them a cover, but give them some health care and also provide food and meals for them. So they're not digging out of the trash cans where they normally would eat. And they're, they're getting a three course meal or three three meals per day, mm -hmm. which is a blessing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's just great to see what they're doing at the fairgrounds. We're so thankful to work with the Bridge Ministry, Kent and Candy Christmas, amazing. But we're so blessed to work with them to help mm -hmm. take the, their supplies that are left over from the Tuesday mm -hmm. and, and go out and help and be a blessing to the community. So we thank you for our partnership with them. And we thank you that we can turn that into a partnership mm -hmm. with the fairgrounds too yeah and we just came uh, became we've been helping also the store which is brad paisley and mm -hmm. his wife kim paisley's um it's a store that they literally just yeah. uh, put groceries together for for the people who are in yeah. need also yeah. or on the yeah. streets as well so we've been able to kind of help fill the, mm -hmm. their grocery store each week yeah. with produce and and uh, mm -hmm. just different items and then we take supplies they have too much of and then we distribute yeah. it out to other other providers too. So they're not getting the waste that they were experiencing the first few weeks, but we help take some of that waste and use it to give to other people where they, they're not called to do, they're yeah. not doing that, we so, are. So here's so. how it works. So two weeks ago, we go to the store mm -hmm. and we drop stuff off for the first time over there. And they said, hey, we've got tons of bread right. and it's gonna go to waste. Do you guys wanna take it? And we said, sure. Mm -hmm. So we took tons of bread and we took that to the fairgrounds. Right. Mm -hmm. And when they saw the bread, they said, you would not believe this. We needed bread. We need to make sandwiches mm -hmm. for these mm -hmm. guys. You know, it's just 
we're taking to people, we're picking up and we're distributing. It's just, mm -hmm. it's part like a puzzle everything. piece yeah. and we get to be a part of it. Right. So, so it's been great. It really helps to, to do this. And, and I just want to say you are a part of the partnership that you bless us. And so we want to encourage your tithe and your offering and your giving. And that here we are, you know, we're not meeting together in our building, but we still need to receive our blessings and, and the offerings that mm -hmm. we're getting. And so we want to encourage you with the tithe and the offering that you can easily text in the, the tithe message for it is 77977 and type in pavilion. And it really blesses. It comes right to us and we can be a part of helping and continue to do what we do because of your partnership helping us to do that. Mm -hmm. So one other thing that we did, we just want to give a quick shout out. We have a church here in Madison. It's a large church that um, they give groceries out from Second Harvest on Saturdays once a month. And so they have a list of people, uh, homes that are nearby, and these families need these groceries. So we brought two huge boxes, one full of meat, the other one full of uh, staples. And so we were able to bring these groceries to homes here in Madison, and we hand-delivered them each to every home, which is a little different than what we do Wednesdays. But what a blessing. And, and we went there, and I'll tell you, only two churches showed up. Only two people, mm -hmm. two communities came but the pavilion was probably the largest volunteer team of all of them and the church that did it not a not a i'm not condemning or saying but th they didn't have any volunteers show up except for the person that was leading it so so we thank you that we're partnering with them and we can fill in where they needed our help mm -hmm. and it's not a who did what it's mm -hmm. a how do we do this because they had a need mm -hmm. and if we didn't show that need wouldn't have been met. So we thank you that we can be a part of that. And yeah, that's a blessing. That's awesome. And we're glad that we could help that church and help our, our community in Madison. Mm -hmm. So it is a blessing. So thank you. All Do right. we want to pray over our yeah. tithe? Let's pray yeah. over that blessing and pray over our givers and pray over our partners. Mm -hmm. Pray over Kenton Candy Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, pray over Second Harvest. Uh, we just uh, so need each other. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the ministry. Mm -hmm that we're blessed to do, that we're a part of through you and through your sacrifice, and that we thank you that you call us your hands and your feet and that you call us our sheep yeah, to go out and minister to, the, to those who are naked and those who are poor and those who are in prison and those who, who are left in the streets. But when we do that to the least of them, we're doing it to you. Mm -hmm. And so we thank you, Father God, for using us, and we thank you for the blessing and we thank you for the work in us. In thank Jesus' you. name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Okay, a couple more shout-outs before right, we start. All right, here we go. So, David Williams. All right, big bro. That's our brother in love. April. Hi, April. Glad you found us. Lanisha. Lydia. Oh, yeah. Cameron. Hey, Cam. Oh, of course. <laughs> Lisa. Nina, Rachel Larson, and yeah. Shannon Stockstill. Awesome. Shannon was singing. I think she was live singing at the, at well, the church think, in Bowling Green. I think that was from a time before. Oh, okay. I thought before, awesome. But, oh, I know. Go, girl. Um, Shan, I just want to remind you that you were supposed to do that at our church. So. Yeah, come on. <laughs> we'll put you live. As soon as we're out of quarantine. That's right. Call on you. Yeah, so that's great. Well, we want to step into our service, step into our lesson today. And uh, Lord, just bless our words today. Mm -hmm. I pray we have uh, hearts to hear, ears to hear eyes to see what your word speaks to us today father in jesus name we pray and thank you lord amen, amen. well we want to start off you can you want to read us in yeah. we're going to start off in matthew uh matthew 6 and uh 6 10 through through 13. you want to start off with that first section right here in the beginning you can use more Okay, so uh -huh. doing right, both of these. just okay. right at the beginning. Yeah. All right, here we go. Therefore, do not be like them, for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. In this manner, therefore, pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your mm. kingdom come, mm. your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So this is a, a prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. They asked them, 
you know, John the Baptist is teaching all these things to his disciples. Lord, teach us how to pray. So this is a prayer that Jesus teaches the disciples and, and teaches us really too that, that it is important that we're praying and, and beginning our prayers with, God, we want your kingdom come, your things to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. They're praying for the kingdom of God to come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, for it's your kingdom that comes. And it's, it's, it's an important season right now uh, that we are really seeing God's kingdom come right now. This is, this is end time prophecy. This is end time fulfillment. This is the word of God coming to us right here. And it's so important that we look at, as we study, I want to study out the kingdom coming because it is here. It is at hand. But this is so, so key for us that God teaches us, the Lord teaches the disciples, pray for this every day. Pray for my kingdom to come. My will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. We can see in Matthew 6, Jesus is talking about his disciples and telling them not to worry. Boy, what a season that we can just totally fall into our, our mm -hmm. own worries. Not to worry about what we eat, he says. Don't worry about what you do, what you wear, or anything like that. He says, none of that. He says, don't worry about this stuff. And that speaks a word to our community, to, you know, our media and anything you turn on, they, they just want to feed fear. And God's telling us, don't worry, but seek first, here it goes, seek first what? The kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things that you're worried about, I've already got them for you. Mm -hmm. He says, don't worry, for those will be added unto you. And that's really what, what God's doing and he's, he's asking us, just don't worry about this and don't worry about these things. So mm -hmm. you wanted to say something about the season and time that we were in yeah. as we were praying this morning and talking this morning. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just always looking at what's happening overall right now, you know, in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. It's not just, it's not meant to be something insulated just within our own churches. Yeah. This is yeah. meant to be a body of Christ coming together, working together. And the Lord, just the way he put it in my spirit was this. He said, this is the closest thing to rapture. He is shaking right. the body of coming. Christ. Yeah. And he is saying, wake up to mm -hmm. what's happening right now. I need you more than ever. This is the time. And as, as the body of Christ, more than ever, our eyes need to be open to this. Oh. It is so, it's interesting mm -hmm. How, you know, the three weeks that we've had going into this, fear was the first week. The second week, I think we all kind of were feeling this, oh, you know, we're going to kind of take this in a little bit. And this is actually kind of nice. I'm having a moment that I can really, you know, focus on the mm -hmm. Lord and focus mm -hmm. on, take take time to just focus on family. Look at, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and, and reconsider mm -hmm. things in my world, my life. What do I need? What do I don't need? And then we have the week of Easter, the resurrection week. And, mm -hmm. and I think I, I always remember my mother's, um, you know, Every resurrection week. week. Easter is the most important holiday in her world when oh, she was alive. Yeah. And it's, it's become ours too, because we're Armenian and there's just a whole history behind mm -hmm. the Armenian culture and Easter, but the most important. And I remember the whole week before she'd always say, I am not going to worry about anything. I'm not going to think about anything. I'm not going to be concerned mm -hmm. about anything. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the best of the best. We'll yeah. spend a little extra, whatever doesn't matter. It's about serving people. It's about family it's about fellowship right. celebration and then the week after comes and when that happens what what wants mm -hmm. to attach itself is fear again even worse and, and or you forget and that's what i'm sensing right now in this mm -hmm. next week to come and i'm i'm here just to speak to the body of christ and say do not do not get comfortable. The time. Do not feel like, because mm -hmm. there's now a, there's a revving up and you can feel it in, in the universe Yeah. <laughs> and in the world and in our nation in and in yeah. the states yeah. and, and you, know, you know, people are starting to revolt. They're getting angry. Now they're getting antsy. Now mm -hmm. we're just like, we are done being isolated and insulated. And so we, we as, as the body, body of Christ, Christ more than, than ever have got, got to not, not fall asleep, asleep not, not get angry. angry but we need to pray more than ever for what God is about to do and where we're about to go and what he needs us to do. This is not about us. This is not about our personal world or our, little, our pavilion church. This is about the body of Christ and what God has us to do. I was sharing with Bart, him being a restaurant man. I, I love 
the analogy of the restaurants because I just think churches are like restaurants. You know, God is like the main owner of the restaurant mm -hmm. and we are the general managers mm -hmm. of this restaurant. He has asked us, but that's the same with all the churches. We are all managing the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So more, more importantly is we got to work together as a team and manage our own church, manage what God has placed in your heart in this body. So I'm encouraging the Pavilion Church, mm -hmm. you know, hear God, find out what he needs. Yeah for you to do right now. Don't fall asleep, don't get angry, don't get frustrated. Stay alert, because mm -hmm. we're about to go out those doors into a whole new mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. just like the song, yeah. <laughs> a whole new world. Yeah, in Matthew 7, 21, uh, Jesus says this, not everyone who calls on the Lord, calls on Lord, on me saying, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's not everyone that's gonna enter in the kingdom of heaven, just because we, say lord lord or we say that we're a christian or we say that we uh that we go to church or that we say that we are uh whatever mm -hmm. you know we say but it's it's he who does the will of the father in heaven so i i, I was speaking to sonia about this and really i felt like the the great easy analogy for us to interpret this and understand that just because we give birth to children so we have sex with somebody or, or something and they get pregnant and we give birth. That doesn't make us a father. That makes us a parent, but that doesn't make us a father. It doesn't make us a mother. What makes us a parent or father or mother is that, that not that we give birth to something, but we put the work into it. Mm -hmm. That that what makes us a father. That's what makes us a mother. We, ra we raise it up. Yeah, we raise the word. And so here Jesus is saying, not everybody that just says, oh, I, you know, I'm a Christian or I'm this or that or Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. But those who do the work, mm -hmm. those who are doing this thing. I've managed a lot of people in restaurants and stuff, and, and I would always encourage my managers, just because you have a title because you're a manager doesn't make you a leader. It's the work you put into it. It's the effort you put into it. It's what makes you a, a leader for people. It's not the title you have. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times we, we use our title as a Christian, like that's gonna get us to heaven. But yet Jesus says in the word, that's not our, that's not our path. Our path is to go in and do the will of the Father and to do his work. That's what makes us parents. That's what makes us mm -hmm. a mom or a dad, it's because what we're willing to do, not just because we give and birth. sacrifice. Yeah, oh, yeah, and always, yes. always sacrifice at times. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it continues on in the word, and I wanna say this, so how do we get into this kingdom? Where do we start? What's our, what's our phase one? What's our entering into the, to the repentance? How do we get into God's kingdom? John the Baptist says it this way in Matthew 3, 2, you can follow along, it says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The repentance of our hearts, the repentance of our lives is really the entrance that we start walking into, stepping into what God's will mm -hmm. is. And repentance in the Greek, it comes from a word, um, meta, metamo, which means, uh, meta means after, and tomo, tomo it is to think about. So it's thinking after. Repentance in the Greek literally means to think after God, to think after him and, and, and put your thoughts on him. We're not thinking of all these things for the world or all these things that we want or all these things that we're after. That's what Jesus was saying in Matthew 6 is, man, don't worry about all that stuff, but seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. Mm -hmm. So it's thinking after God in the, in the Hebrew, uh, God's word is uh, uh, tash, tashava, which means to repent, repentance, not just repent, but tashava means repentance. And, and the word, um, it starts off, you read it from the right to the left, not from the left to the right, as we do in English. But it's, it's tav, uh, shin, ve, bet, he. What this is, this word in Hebrew starts off with with Tav, which means the cross, it's the end, it's the last letter, it's the Z in the alphabet, as the Hebrew letters are. But Tav is the last, and it represents the cross. Jesus started with the cross to allow us to come into the return, which 
Sheen means it's, a, it's the one letter in the Hebrew that God symbolizes himself in is sheen. And it's, so it's the cross to God coming into Vo, which is the, the nail. And, and Bet is a representation of Jesus. So read that in, in, in the mm-hmm. pictogram. Jesus is nailed, or God is nailed to the cross through Jesus. That's our return to hay. Hay is the, the grace that God gave us, but also hay means the revelation. Oh my gosh, I get this. Repentance, the word repentance is literally saying through the cross, I'm returning back to God's grace. I'm returning back to God's mm-hmm. love for me. And so it's repentance in our life that we want to start off this, this key of understanding uh, this, this series that we want to talk about, the kingdom of God. It starts with our repentance. It means that we change the, our behavior. So when we want to be something, we have to change something. If I want to be a better dad, I have to change my old behavior or what it was. And we can call it repentance or we can call it just good sound thinking. This time is a time of reflection. Literally, the whole earth has stopped. Yeah. There's no influences of any kind The anywhere. whole world has mm-hmm. stopped. And it's a great time for us to stop and just look at this and go, okay, where do I need to change? <laughs> Repentance is, remember in the Greek, it means to think after. So where do I need to think after God? Where do I need to make mm-hmm. a change in my life? Mm-hmm. What repentance and John the Baptist is saying is, uh, we need to start with rethinking this. Our baptism and our, and our repentance in God's kingdom is to rethink where am I? Mm-hmm. And where do I wanna be? See, without really thinking about where you are or where you wanna be, you'll just live through life with no, no direction. Mm-hmm. But first, when you look at a map, first you've got to determine, where am I on that map? You might see that, that I see the direction I want to go. I see where I want to go. But without knowing where I am to start, mm-hmm. that map's useless. It'll tell you where something is, but if you don't know where you are to get to it, mm-hmm. it's a useless piece of paper. Mm-hmm. And it's so important that we realize where we are, locate ourselves, find out, be real, there's no need to, to put on a facade. There's no need to, to make yourself look good. God sees through it all. But just to locate, where are you? Where are you and where do you want to be? I want to be here or I want to be here. I want to I think after God and, and I have a direction in my life. Mm-hmm. And so this is so important in this season as we start to talk about the kingdom of God. Kingdom come is the name of the series. Mm-hmm. Kingdom come. Because John the Baptist says it well. He says... Yeah, I'm, I'm preaching repentance because the kingdom of God is at hand. What's he saying? It's here. John the Baptist is telling us the kingdom of God is at hand. And then later in, in Matthew, it starts speaking about Jesus, and Jesus starts to baptize. And, and from that time on in, in Matthew 4, 17, it says, From that time on, Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Jesus made it right now. So I'm speaking to anybody out there who wants to to see this as what it is and realize literally only God can make the whole world stop. We can we can call it politics, we can call it man, but it's it's only God that can make the whole world stop. And it's a time in our life that God's given us an opportunity to come into the kingdom of God, to really look, man, it's here, it's now, it's right now in my heart. As I'm speaking these words, prophetically, it's moving you. Prophetically, you're feeling this, I don't want to say condemning, but you're feeling this conviction. Man, that, I feel that. And so I want to encourage us right now. We're going to pray right now with you. We're going to believe that God's word, uh, it's boundless it doesn't it's not limited by my distance or yours god is here with all of us and literally wants you back and he'll stop the whole earth he'll stop the whole community he'll stop the whole economy he'll stop everything to get your attention you mean that much to him you're not a mistake you are a purpose and on purpose 
no matter what you've been told in the past, you're here for a purpose. And God wants to bless you and lead you. Don't worry about everything. Don't worry about all this stuff. But seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And in that, all those other things will be added to you. So let me pray. Do you, do you want to? Yeah, and I was also going to say, and for those who don't know this Jesus, God stopped the whole earth for you. Mm -hmm. He stopped everything just for you. This is not a curse. This is not because mm -hmm. you were a bad person. It's because mm -hmm. he loves you that much. Yeah. Yeah. We have, and I was saying earlier, we have absolutely nothing influencing us right now. We can't even, we can't go to the movies where it's no can't concerts go to, going on. Can't go on. to church. No, there's, there's nothing yeah. that is pulling us. I mean, if you go to the store and you look at the magazine racks, it's just like no new news. You know yeah. I mean? There's nothing that can possibly take you off except for a denial that you don't want to mm -hmm. see. And, and again, I don't say that to, con I say that more mm -hmm. as just grabbing a hold of you and saying, yeah. you know what, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay to open yourself up to this. It's okay to, you know, just test him. The Bible says, try me, test mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. see, see if I'm not here, see if I'm not for mm -hmm. real. Just go ahead, what, what do mm -hmm. you have to lose? Yeah. Yeah. So let's bow our heads. Let's pray together. And I want to pray over you right now. Heavenly Father, you know where each and every one of us are. You know where we are physically, but you know where we are spiritually. You know where we are emotionally. You know where we are uh, internally. You know exactly where we are mm -hmm. in everything in our life. And no matter what we've done to, to conceal that or hide that or make us look better than we are or, or more than we are, you know right where we are. Mm -hmm. And that's the key on a map we need to know right where yes, we are you, and i love that god that you know mm -hmm. right where we are so you help us you guide us even if we don't even understand what what all this is about right now as yes. i'm speaking these words maybe you don't even understand it yet and it's okay you don't need to god knows right where you are and he knows right where you need to go so you set the path mm -hmm. god says seek me first so Heavenly Father, right now, just make that prayer to him. Say it out loud. Yeah. Say it in your heart. Say it loud to God so he knows where you're, where you're headed. But Lord, I'm seeking you first. Mm -hmm. Your kingdom yeah. come. That's what your word said. Seek your kingdom yeah. and your righteousness. So God, I'm seeking you right now for your kingdom right here to come. It's here. And I'm seeking your righteousness. Mm -hmm. And all this other stuff uh, doesn't matter because you've got this mm -hmm. and my direction is all that matters yeah. the stuff in my past is past the stuff in my present is really what matters and the such in the future god you said don't worry about tomorrow mm -hmm. for tomorrow has enough yeah. worries for itself but we focus on what's today what's right now lord and there's nothing more important right now than my relationship with you so we give you all the praise and thanks lord you know our heart, you take our heart, mm -hmm. and we repent of those things of the past. And Father God, we put our attention, we, we think after you. We put our attention because through the cross, God, you've made a way by nailing Jesus to the cross for the grace, for the, hey, the revelation to come across, to understand that's repentance. Hey, God, you did this. Uh, I couldn't have, and no one else could have. God, you did this. Hey, I'm, I'm catching some revelation, Lord. Mm -hmm. It's through your grace. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless. Make sure you like and share us, too. Please share. <laughs>